When Edward Snowden released his secrets about NSA surveillance, the world started thinking more about internet privacy. How much does it matter? Should you take steps to keep your data private? Let's take a look at virtual private networks. A virtual private network, VPN, is a network technology that enables remote users to securely connect to a private network over a public network like the internet. Individual computers in the network can share and communicate together as if they were directly connected together. VPNs are often used by large companies and educational institutions to facilitate access from remote locations. They're also used by individual users who need to protect their online privacy for whatever reason while browsing the web or getting access to regionally restricted content since VPNs hide users' real IP address and location. The process of establishing a secure connection using a virtual private network is quite easy. Users first have to connect to the public internet through internet service providers, and then initiate a VPN connection to a VPN server by using a provided software solution. Once the connection is established, any data the user will send or receive will be securely transported over a public network infrastructure, thanks to many tunneling protocols that have been developed over the years. For two sides in a network to communicate, they have to understand and use the same communication protocol. A tunneling protocol encloses in its information another complete data packet that uses a different communications protocol, essentially creating a tunnel between two points on a network that can securely transmit any kind of data between them. Tunneling protocols include point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, PPTP. This is a fast and easy to use protocol that's natively supported by most operating systems. This protocol doesn't offer a very strong encryption, nor does it provide data integrity verification or data origin authentication. Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol, L2TP, is used to facilitate virtual private network connection over existing networks. Because L2TP doesn't provide any encryption mechanisms, it's regularly used together with IPsec. Internet Protocol Security, IPsec, is in addition to the standard IP layer that allows two or more hosts to communicate securely by encrypting individual packets. This protocol is able to verify data integrity and is thus suitable for mission-critical application. It's also native to most operating systems and often recommended as an alternative to OpenVPN. Secure Sockets Layer, SSL, is the standard security technology for establishing an encrypted link between a web server and a browser most commonly known, thanks to its wide adoption by online retailers and various websites. Complexity of the encryption process is hidden from the users, who rely on their web browser to indicate that they are being protected. OpenVPN is an open source software application published under the GPL license. It's available on most platforms and has an active community of enthusiastic users and developers. OpenVPN offers a very high level of encryption with high data transfer speeds. It's a stable and mature technology that's often recommended as the best protocol for desktop and server use. Chameleon is a new proprietary technology developed by Golden Frog, available for Windows, Mac and Android. This technology is built under the unmodified OpenVPN 256-bit protocol. It has the ability to bypass surveillance and blocking mechanisms used by ISPs and governments such as the Great Firewall of China. This is possible thanks to scrambling of OpenVPN packet metadata. So what are the advantages of VPN? Well, a VPN is an improven way to build a secure network that will keep your information protected from hackers and restrictions placed by governments or internet service providers. You'll be able to work from any location and conveniently share files with other people belonging to your network. Additionally, you can conceal your real location and IP address, which may be useful for many reasons. But what are the disadvantages of VPN? A properly implemented VPN requires a deep knowledge of networking and all related aspects such as encryption. The help of expertly trained professionals or a smooth software package is critical for ensuring a fast, stable and smooth connection. Choose only trustworthy VPN providers and use HTTPS when possible. So should you use a virtual private network? The short answer is yes, it's probably a good idea. It doesn't matter if you're an individual who wants to get a high level of privacy or a big organization that needs to let its employees work from remote locations and seamlessly access files, applications, and other important resources. VPN is a time-tested way to easily accomplish these goals and more. Thanks for watching Wonderbins. Please share, like, and subscribe for new videos every week.